to tell you something that as a Maytag mechanic you would not need to know as on this on this two on this twin cylinder if you remember on this backing plate right here this stud that's sticking out mounted onto that stationary backing plate the stud is permanently fixed there is no adjustment in the timing of a Maytag twin a multimotor it's it's a fixed system it was good it it, it by all of them has outlasted their usefulness life It, one side of this one's a little bit weak, and I discovered that through testing, switching the wire back and forth. Now, you do need to know that, but the part you don't need to know is how many degrees, I'm going to make this quick, how many degrees before uh, top dead center does a two-cylinder far? That's the question that was, that has... Uh, it's been ran up the flagpole, that question has. And, and so is this wavy washer here. Y'all see that? you got to have that. This Most of them are made out of copper or some kind of brass stuff if you get a factory one. But you can find a metal replacement one of these. And you do, you do need to secure one somehow. Because what that does, it, it holds pressure against your cam so it don't vibrate in there. Vibration's a bad thing. Eliminate it, it any way you can and that wavy washer is the way to do that. The point being is this whole system here works on magnets and and magnets is a uh, well we don't uh, it magnetism in itself I mean you can't hardly explain that the reason you do not solder the spark plug bars to these little ears right here is, I'm going to show you now. This happens to be a DA core here. There is a difference in this dimensions, and I'm going to take this core off the armature is the reason that I have these ears bent up that way I can remove the core put another one back on there bend these ends over and it would hold it fast I show you the reason now that you don't solder on these if I may try to explain this y'all see that little wire right there that little wire sticking up yanner okay that's supposed to be soldered fast to this bracket right here this little bracket that's that's the little eyelet that you are dealing with right down there on the outside of the coil. And this is just very, very lightly soldered. When they built the thing, it had the little pigtail sticking out. They put that on yander, and then they lay, put that down there like that, and they laid that over there, and they soldered that right there. Okay, if you come along and you put the soldering iron to that right there to solder your spark plug wire on, you can make a real nice looking solder, uh, you know, to look, just be looking professional. You be proud of yourself. But all the time you were unsoldering this, this little pigtail. It just do not do it. It's just, it's, it, it, you know, it, just do not solder to this little thing right here. This coil in particular here that I am holding in hand, this one, this one, and as you can see inside, uh, this, this, this coil right here is no good. So I think, well, I'll just open it up for a show and tell. And as you can see, the large diameter wire for the primary. The primary is not very big on these. And the secondary is all of this mass out here with some real fine wire and paper laminations. The The way that these old engines were stored most of the time is their downfall. 
it's real you it's really interesting when you open this up and I am going to open this one up and to see the corrosion of that old soldering job we we go I'm going to open this one up on this side and I'll show it to you It's down in there somewhere. Just don't be, don't be real aggressive at it. It's not the problem. The coal is not the problem here. It's how old it is. You got to figure how old is this coal right here that you're dealing with? Where has it been stored at? You know, did, has it been in a puddle of water? Has it been in high heat? Was it in the barn? Was it in the junkyard? It, you have to just kind of question every aspect of its possible life. And just because one of these sat out there in the barn in your own backyard for 10 years does not mean it cannot go bad. You see that, where that's soldered on there? It's really discord cut. And I see that was, oh, that was not a good solder. Well, you've seen it come loose. You've seen it just come, it was not making contact. Just such a little bitty trivial things as that could be the problem. See, I'm I'm just I'm just just bringing this to your attention as the possibilities. It, new coils are available. I hear tell. Well, we'll put the voltmeter on this and see did that make any difference. No, it did not make any difference. It's open circuit. It's not, not, not. It's uh, somewhere. It's, uh, it's a broken circuit. Could possibly be where that, where that this pigtail is affixed to the coil winding itself. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper. <laughs> 